will deliver the ninth annual Tabumbegi Africa Day Lecture at the ZK Matthews Hall at UNISA in Pretoria later this evening. The former Deputy President is currently serving a second term under the Executive Secretary for the United Nations Entity for Gender Equality and the Empowerment of Women, also known as UN Women. Now, the theme for this year's lecture is Gender Equality and Women Empowerment a necessary paradigm shift in Africa's quest for development and poverty, poverty eradication. Well, joining us now is our reporter Aldrin Sampia to give us the latest. A very good afternoon to you, Aldrin, looking suave in your Africa Day regalia there. Happy Africa Day to you. Look, Aldrin, a very telling theme indeed, particularly at a time when we are still talking about how far women are, are, are behind in terms of progression due to gender stereotyping across the continent. Talk to us about the theme first and foremost. Well, yes, we're coming live to you from uh, UNISA, where we expect that lecture to be delivered by the former deputy president of the country, Pumzilem Lambung. I guess uh, the president, the former president of the country, uh, Tabon Beke, couldn't have chosen a different person to deliver a lecture that looks into gender um, inequality as well as um, the bias that women face across the continent, not only here in South Africa, but also something that they face um, in the world as well. Just a couple of days ago, actually, when I was in Geneva, and we're having this discussion with one of the labor unions and speaking about um, the gender parity and also looking into the um, inequality that women specifically face when it comes to their salaries at the end of the month and um, seeing that uh, this press release that has been sent by the Tabo Mbeki Foundation and uh, making the announcement that Pumzilem Lambungnuko would be the person who would be delivering today's lecture. They make reference to the McKinsey report, the report that looked into um, the gender parity in terms of income between um, males and females, which found that about um, 26 percent that women get Get pay, women get paid 26% less than their male counterparts uh, for the same job that they're doing. And when I was speaking to former, pre well, rather, when I was speaking uh, to President Cyril Ramaphosa about this issue um, in Geneva, he said um, that it's something that um, most governments are probably starting to look into, and it's probably something that um, South Africa should start to look into as well, that how do you ensure um, that you close that gap, the income gap between um, what females are receiving compared to what their male counterparts are receiving. If you look at um, countries like, such as France, where they've outlawed um, uh, this gender inequality, where you have uh, companies being fined at least 1% of um, their salary budget if they fail to ensure that they close this gap when it comes to income inequality. But here's a big issue for this continent, is when you look at um, the violence that takes place, if you, when you look at um, areas that have been under attack, if you look at um, areas that haven't um, been receiving peace over a couple of years, the areas such as countries such as the DRC, for instance. And if you speak to a feminist and people who do research in the state of women across the continent, they'll tell you that women are the people who bear the brunt of um, of the violence that occurs, of the um, whether it is genocide that that, that will be taking place, when it, whether it is in the, the insurgents um, that will be going into these countries. Look, for instance, what's um, what's happening in uh, Nigeria um, with Boko Haram. This is something that has been um, a constant debate. That how do we ensure um, that women also feel safe in the countries that they live in? And look at South Africa. We right now are facing an issue around um, femicide, where women are constantly being attacked. Where some are even saying that that women are not safe um, around the people that they know personally, people who they call um, their husbands, people they call their boyfriends, people that they call their brothers, their fathers, as well um, as their uncles, um, the violence that women um, are facing. How do you ensure that you deal with that? And that's some of the questions, I guess, that um, Pumzilem Lamunuko will be looking into, considering that she is the executive secretary of UN Women. They've been looking at some of these issues as well. And how do you ensure that you also empower women because that's another thing. And when I was speaking to Tandi Mudise um, a couple of, couple of months ago, actually, um, and we were speaking about how Pumzilem Lambungnuka came in as the first deputy president, female deputy president of the country, and at the ANC's elective conference, the party had an opportunity uh, where you had at least um, three women who were standing to become the president um, of the party, and uh, not even one of them were elected to even become the deputy president um, of the ANC. Same 
same thing when it comes to politics in Parliament. Um, Zanela Gamakwazam Sibi, the NFP leader, she's the only female leader that Parliament has now. How do you ensure that women still find their place and still make sure that their voices are heard when it comes to issues of governance, when it comes to issues of business, and it, when it comes to issues of how and where this continent would be leading to. And um, those are some of the issues that will be discussed certainly uh, later this evening. Of course, um, SABC News will be carrying that lecture live around about 7 o'clock when Pumzilem Lambangluka um, delivers that lecture. The program starts at 6 o'clock and Channel Africa as well as SAFM will also cover, um, bring you that lecture live. So if you're in your car and uh, you can't watch me, and Pumzilem Lamongo on TV, certainly you can try and uh, catch the lecture on uh, radio. With that suit, I'm sure definitely we'll try and, uh, of course, uh, catch you up with all the latest developments from that lecture. It is taking place at the UNISA out in Pretoria later on this evening. That is Aldrin Sampier, our reporter on the scene, and we will be touching base with him uh, when the lecture is about to start.